Did you know that you can go from shellcode back to assembly with just two simple commands? Let me show you how. I've got a copy of some shellcode that I wrote, and if I just cat this out, to me, this machine code doesn't mean anything. But we can easily turn this back into assembly that's a lot more human readable. First, let's cat it out again, but this time we'll pipe it into XXD using the dash P and dash R flags and direct the output into a binary file. Next, we'll use the NASM disassembler to turn this binary back into assembly. To do that, we'll go N to ZASM dash B 64 and then the name of the binary, which for us is shellcode.bin. Now we've got this in assembly, which is a much more human readable format. Taking a look at the assembly, you'll notice that it's setting up to make a syscall. Directly before this, we actually see the syscall number being set, which is 3B in hex or 59 in decimal. If we consult the documentation for the syscalls, you'll notice that this is a syscall number for exec CVE, which spawns a new process and there's a string used to actually set what process is being called. Let's run strings on this binary to see if we can pick anything up. We see here that there's a string for slash bin slash sh. This shows us that this shellcode is trying to spawn a shell. This could likely be used in an exploit for privilege escalation. If you want to learn more about assembly, including how to read and write it, make sure to check out the Assembly 101 course on the TCM Academy.